And another one here. Got some ripe upgrades. And this one here is Knockout in two variations, uh, the blue and red. And I want to note something that was really interesting because if you look at the red, it says 80 FPS and look at the blue, 90. Both are identical. Um, if you purchase these, you can find them at Target. I uh, got a couple of those as well. And take a look at it because we just saw it there. We had to just grab it. This one is a takedown. And this one is a pump action. While these, it's it works just like their jolts where you gotta pull it down and you'll have to feed uh, a single rival ball and push it back in to lock it in place before you fire it. While this one is a top feeder where you just, I believe it's eight of them. You load them up right here and just pump each one and good to go. So this one I know that a lot of people have been talking about, you know, they've been either been um, buying replacements for the grip, giving it either a better handle or giving an extension for the backside to make it a much more ergonomic hand, uh, pistol grip. Um, and this one, I know that people have been, have been doing brass barrels for uh, short darts, but either way, we're just gonna leave it as is and have fun with it like this. Uh, let's take a look at how it looks like um, after we open it up. So this is the knockout. It's a really big size. I don't think it's really meant for kids' hands just because if you're gonna look at the pistol grip and look how much I can only wrap it around on the back side of it. It's, it doesn't give you a full grip. So even with kids, they might only be able to hold on just about half of it. And the amount of pull, I don't know if it's just similar to the jolt, but it is, does require some strength. So if I recall this right, you know, push these either of these levers and it releases uh, the barrel so that you can load it. And we're just gonna stuff one inside, push it back, and it's ready to go. This is the takedown. Really nice feeling. You can see on the pistol grip that my thumb actually reaches completely over, so you got a better handle on this overall. Uh, here we go, lock, this is safety, and this is fire. You see the priming indicator. It is primed. Mm -hmm. So while it's in this position, let's load them all up. Just kind of get fed inside. I don't know if you could tell. Um, question is, where do they sit? I think they're all inside of the front section of it. One's already ready to go. It's right here. And they're just going right below it. So. There you go. test that we're gonna do now is so this is the distance test um, let's do that with the takedown so I think you kind of saw some of them were kind of a little bit higher than target I just want to note one thing is that 
I'm hip firing, which means I'm not at my eye level. I'm kind of just holding it right along my hip, which is about right here. And that's a disadvantage. So it's just meant for like really, I don't, know, I don't want to say if it's like a shotgun where you're doing it up close, but you know, it's, it's a really small size. So let's try the knockout now, two shots. Here's the knockout. And you saw the knockout, uh, one kind of swung to the left and the other to the right. I mean, these are the things with the rivals. Uh, they are these knurled little tiny little foam balls. They don't have distance accuracy. I think it's just much more fun if you were to just kind of like a nemesis where you're just going to be unloading and unleashing on them. But yeah, these two, um, I think this is like $10. If I remember that right, I think it was $10 and the takedown was $20. I mean, $30 for a pistol and a shotgun is pretty darn fun. $50 for all this right here.